Patrick, well done tonight. Um, personally and for the team, great performance. What's been the reaction? Um, I think the boys are just happy. I mean, we know that on Saturday we probably should have won the game, but slipped up. So there was a lot, there was kind of frustration and regret Saturday. And we knew that today we had to put it together and um, we did, I think. We've always said this team's pretty level-headed, not got too carried away when they've won, not got too down when they've lost, but can you contrast your emotions between how you felt at the end at St Andrews and how you felt at the end tonight? Um, to be honest, I think, like you say, we've been quite level-headed, so we knew that it's not over the fact that we lost on Saturday, but we knew that today, like, that was a must-win, so I think we had to go into today's game as if it was the last game of our life, and I think we did that. And for you personally, what were you thinking going into this game? You think I have to score tonight, I have to be on the score sheet this evening? Do you know what? I've, I've, I've taken quite a bit of stick last few games, and I, I know there was, I can't remember which game it was, but I didn't play, well, where I missed the penalty, didn't play brilliant. But um, I've just tried to, like, I've kept working, kept doing the same things that I've been doing that have kind of got me to where I am. And um, I knew that if I kept, kept like, level headed, and as a striker, you can't, like, get frustrated about missing chances I think the more you miss for me personally the more you miss makes it more likely that the next one's going to go in so if I keep shooting then I'm going to score and that was what happened tonight when you say you're taking a bit of stick does it, does it really get to you or do you just use it try and channel it in a positive way uh, no to be honest like I said it took stick but it, it doesn't really affect me obviously sometimes I actually laugh at it thinking god like, <laughs> imagine if it was vice versa but um, it's one of them where I can feel the fans frustration because I was a fan once at Forest and I'm sure I've given players a fair bit of stick from the stands but um, it's one of them where I, I knew that eventually it, it would it would go in and um, they have their right to be frustrated because the games are so important and I was frustrated as well personally for like not scoring. There's nothing worse I think as a striker when the team loses but you could have affected it. And I think that was the case on Saturday. So I was frustrated then, but at the same time, you, as soon as the game's finished, you forget about it and uh, it was on to tonight. Tweet to score twice in front of those fans who were then singing your name for the rest of the game and thought you might have got a third as well. Yeah, the third one. <laughs> I should have scored. Um, I should have had a hat trick. As soon as I went inside, I said, should have had a hat trick. But I, to be honest, I think my legs, I tried to dink the keeper. I don't know if you saw exactly what happened and I kicked the floor. So. It's better we don't talk about that one, but um, yeah, my legs were tated by the end then. Hey, and just finally, pressure on Sheffield United now. Will you sit and watch that game or will you just look the score up? Will you follow it? Um, to be honest, I'll probably, I'll, I'll have the Champions League on, on the TV, but I'll probably have Sky Sports News on the iPad or something like that. But I'll have my feet up, that's true. Well done tonight. Cheers, Thank you. Thank you.